Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to show you how to create a Canva slideshow video in 2023. So if you aren't familiar, Canva is this great program that allows you to make pretty much any kind of design project, whether it be a picture, a logo, a poster, an ad, even stories. Surprisingly though, most people aren't even aware that you can also make videos using Canva. So right now, we're going to focus on making a video slideshow using Canva. And the first thing you want to do is on the Canva homepage, go ahead and click on videos underneath the search bar. Here, you'll be able to see all the different kinds of videos that you can make using Canva from mobile videos to Facebook videos, reels, and even TikTok clips. When you scroll down on the video section, you can see that Canva even offers so many different kinds of templates for kinds of videos you can make. From very standard 1920 by 1080 sized videos to mobile videos, there are templates for so many different kinds of things. Once you're done viewing all the different kinds of templates you have the option to select, Let's scroll back up and select blank video to start from scratch. Here you'll be presented with the very standard Canva editor. For now, we want to make a simple slideshow featuring pictures that'll show for a set number of time. So the first step to making a slideshow is of course you need the pictures to display for the slideshow. Go ahead and on the left hand side, choose photos. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to search for dogs and cats and make a slideshow of our cute furry companions. Here we can select a photo of our choosing, then have it placed in the Canva editor to be displayed on our slideshow. We can even resize the image as we wish. Since this is a video, we can also change the timing of the clip. For now, let's set it to 3 seconds. And let's even change the background to something a bit more friendly on the eyes. Now, once we're happy with the results of our first slide for the slideshow, let's go ahead and click on the plus icon below to add another page or slide. Let's choose another picture. I'm gonna go with this one. Yet again, feel free to resize the picture as you wish until you're happy with the results. As you can see, you can also adjust the timing for this video. And let's change the timing to 3 seconds also. But let's also click on Apply to All Pages so we don't have to keep on changing the timing for every slider page we add to this slideshow. Now let's add a third page and look for our third photo. Canva really did such a good job of allowing easy use to resize and fix the photos to anything we want. Once we're happy with the size and location of this photo, we can even have the option to change its transparency. I'll show you a cool effect that you can do by changing the transparency of the photo, copying the photo, overlaying it, and having this really cool zoomed in effect. Now go ahead and add another page. And for this one, I'm going to show you how to make the photo the background for the entire page instead of just a photo that's overlaid over the background. Once you've selected an image, go ahead and right click it and you can see the option to set as background. Let's set this photo as the background for this slide. I really enjoyed using the transparency trick in the last photo, so let's do it again for this one. You can change the transparency for the entire background and then put the same photo in and resize it to give it the same zoomed in effect. Once we're happy with how that slide turned out, let's add one more. Now for the next page, let's add some text as a headline to the page. So instead of choosing photos on the left side, go ahead and choose text and choose a text box that you think looks really nice. I think this one's pretty good, so I'm gonna add this one. Next, let's go back to photos and choose an appropriate photos for the slide. The next thing we want to do is set the photo as the background, 
And once that's done, let's focus on the text box. Do note that most text templates you choose from Canva on the left hand side will be grouped together. We only really need one text box for what we need for the slide. So let's ungroup the text group and delete one text box since we only really need one. Let's type here best friends forever. And as you can see, you have so many options to change the font size, font color, and choose whatever font you want. Now follow along if you want to just copy this kind of layout with this kind of background. Once you're satisfied with how the slide turned out, don't forget to adjust the timing so that all the slides are neat and organized. Once you're done fixing the timing, we can now add some animations. This is a slideshow video after all. Go ahead and select the text box you just made, and on the upper right hand side corner, choose Animate. As you can see, there are a ton of different options that you can use to add some animation and really personalize how you want to display this text box. We can also add transitions in between each slide. By selecting each transition, you can see how it'll move from one slide to the next. And let's choose the transition that makes it slide to the left. Now, just keep following along and let's add a transition in between every single page of this slideshow. We're going to kind of speed things up in this portion, but let's keep things consistent and choose the same slide transition in between each page. As you can see, using Canva to make your own video slideshow is really as simple as this. You can make anything from slideshows to documentaries to YouTube videos, shorts, reels, and pretty much anything with Canva. The only limit is really your imagination and creativity. Now, once we've added all the transitions, don't forget to add a name for your project. And on the upper right corner, click on share and make sure the file type is MP4 video. Choose your quality and choose all pages. Once you're happy with these download settings, click download to begin downloading your project. And there you have it. You've now made your first ever Canva slideshow video. It really is as simple as that. But if you have any other questions or inquiries, feel free to leave them down in a comment below. If you learned something new in this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more quick and easy tutorial content. Thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.